hi everyone in this tutorial we will talk about uh, iframe function of streamlet and then we will see how we can add animation in our streamlet web app so first of all let's remove everything and i hope that now you know very well how to embed html and css and uh, let's remove this line and let's remove this line as well now first of all uh, let's see how to add animation using iframe function so what is iframe function so iframe function of streamlet basically allow us to embed external html and css files in our streamlet web app so again we need to import this component okay so with the help of this component we can access our iframe function okay so just write here com comp then dot iframe okay and then you need to pass here the uh, iframe source okay so if you go to this uh, loti.com lotifile.com so on the lotifile.com you will find free animation okay and it's a great website for adding animation in your streamlit web app so here you just need to create uh, an account and it's totally free you can log in through google i think you can log in through facebook or apple account i don't know but it's a very straightforward process of creating account okay and then after creating account you will find such type of interface so here on the top we have this discover tab so when you hover on this discover tab here you will find such type of interface so you just need to click on this free animations and uh, this will redirect you to the free animation page and here you will find tons of free animations which you can embed in your streamlet web app so uh, let's suppose that uh, if i want to embed uh, this cat okay so i think it's looking fine and i want to embed this cat so you just need to click on this uh, animation okay and there are a bunch of methods of adding a uh, lot file animation in your streamlet web app but uh, in this tutorial i will discuss two of them one is to use the iframe method and the other one is to use the json file itself okay so you will find such type of interface and if you scroll down here you will see that this embedded url and then in front of this embedded url you will see iframe code so we are concerned with the iframe code so just click on this iframe code and here you will find this code so just copy it okay and let's open notepad okay so notepad and let's paste this code so this is my iframe tag okay and inside this tag we have this source but we are only concerned with this source of the iframe okay because we have used iframe function this means that we have completed this step which is adding the tag okay so now we just need a source okay so just copy this source which is present in these double quotes okay just uh, i think i will copy the double quote as well okay so just copy this copy it and open your vs code again and here you just need to paste your source okay and then you just need to save it and uh, let's uh, reload this application let's reload it and see the output and yeah this is my animation as you can see we have a very very cool animation of the cat so this is how you can actually add your loti file animations in your streamlet using this iframe function and now let's talk about the second method of adding animation in your streamlit web app and in this case i just need to install an other module of python which is streamlit lotify okay so just open new terminal and write here pip inst a double l install and then stream lit streamlit then underscore l o double t i e lot and then hit enter and this will install your lot file extension or whatever you call it but uh, as you can see i have already installed it so after installation of uh, lot file extension you just need to reload your vs code and uh, after reopening it you need to import your lotify okay so just right here f r o m from uh, S T R E M streamlit lotify i need to import import st underscore lotify okay so i need to import this function actually okay so now let's save it and here first of all we need to download the json of this animation so again if you click on the animation on the top you will find this download button so if you click on this arrow here you have bunch of options so 
if you want to download this animation in mp4 format you can download it using this mp4 option if you want to download it in gif or whatever you can download it using that format but in this tutorial i will download it using this slotty json okay so when you click on this slotty json this will start download process okay so uh, i have already downloaded so just close it and uh, uh, you just need to import sorry let's cancel it you need to import that json file inside your this vs code okay so as you can see uh where is uh, here is my animation.json okay so it's a very complicated json okay and i will not waste my time uh, in understanding this json okay so just close it again and after importing your uh, json file inside your vs code you just need to open it in your custom html.py file okay so just right here with then op and open okay and then you need to define your file name and in this case my file name is a n i m a t i o animation dot json okay and i will open it use as s o u r c source okay and after opening it i just need to read it okay so in order to read json file it is obvious that you need to import json library okay so just write here i m p r t import uh, j s o n json okay and uh, sorry import json and let's save it and now here i will say uh, json dot l o a d load okay and i need to load this source okay so just write here so rc source okay and then i will save my result inside this a n i m a t i o animation variable okay so you can use any kind of variable name here and now after loading it and after reading the json i just need to write st underscore lotty okay and i need to pass here my animation data which is obviously json so just write here a n i m a t i o animation okay and here as you can see you can pass some other properties as well like uh, the speed of your animation if you want to reverse your animation you can reverse it if you want to loop the animation you can loop it you can change the quality you can define the renderer feature okay you can set the height width key everything else okay so i will not discuss those properties because they are very very obvious and i hope that uh, you know very well how this property behaves okay so this is your task to play with these properties but for now let's save it okay and uh, let's uh, reload this ag again and uh, now as you can see we have a cat and then we have this animation okay so i have downloaded this animation okay and uh, this one okay and that's why you are able to see this animation this is my cat i have added it using iframe okay and i have added this animation using the json so i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and i hope that you have understood each and everything you can set the sizing and you can put it in a separate column just play with all these things just make complicated apps in streamlit and the more you will practice the more you will understand i will see you in the next tutorial till that point bye bye